Hello Power and Design New Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I'm very excited to be bringing you a review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection fan channel exclusive release of the In Space Ready Clip Door. So this figure definitely is an interesting one. So a lot of people sometimes don't even remember what Ready Clip Door even is. <laughs> so Ready Clip Door was something that was seen in only one episode of Power Rangers in Space, and I believe it was what, the Impenetrable Web, I think is the episode it was called. Uh, but basically, this is a power-up that Eclipper gets for a very brief amount of time. However, when he is in this form, he does some damage. In this form, he is able to destroy the Mega Voyager, which is definitely a or I think it's the Mega Voyager, or it's the Delta Megazord. He destroys a Megazord, and the name of it, which will be on the screen right now, because I thought... I don't know, I'm second-guessing myself. But anyway, In Space Ready Eclipper is something that was very briefly in the show, and now is getting a Lightning Collection release. So obviously, for the most part, this is just a very simple figure for Hasbro to make because only a couple of months ago, we got the regular Eclipse Door as an Amazon exclusive and a two pack with Astronoma. So it's like basically mostly just a repaint. However, there are a couple of new elements to this. Uh, there are basically two pieces that are remolded and there are some, of course, new paint details and also we have a brand new sword for him. So there is some things that are different. And so it's not just a straight up 100% repaint, but I get it. Some people are not very happy with this figure because it's such an obscure thing to do since it literally is from one episode. And also some people think it's just a cash grab to you know, do this so soon after the original one. And I guess I see that point, but at the same time, it is something that happened in the show and I think it's totally valid. And this figure was absolutely excellent, like very, very good. So I'm happy and more than happy and totally willing to have another figure of that mold because it was just incredible. So like I said, this is a fan channel exclusive release. Now it was announced back in December and it didn't go up for pre-order until March of 2022. And when it went up for pre-order, it was listed for an August release. You're seeing this video at the end of May. So obviously it did not uh, release in August, it released earlier. So right now, Entertainment Earth has it in stock. Hasbro Pulse is about to ship it, but I got mine actually from a little collectible shop in Florida called Bits and Buttons. So they just had it up on their store a couple of days ago, and I ended up paying about 30 bucks for him. He's supposed to be $24.99, so I paid a little bit more. However, I, in my personal experience, whenever I get things from like Entertainment Earth, it takes forever. So I haven't seen anybody get it in from Entertainment Earth yet, and Pulse hasn't shipped them out just yet. So it totally worked out. I was able to support a little small business and also get it a lot sooner than I would have the other ways. So uh, be sure to check them out. I will leave a link to them in the description below. Uh, so if you want to port, you know, order it there, I think you can still get it there. But yeah, let's take a look at Ready Clip Door. So obviously his box, definitely an interesting sized box. It's a bigger box than a typical Lightning Collection figure. Um, so that's pretty cool. He's I'm surprised he's like a typical price point for a Lightning figure. I would have expected him to be more of a deluxe one. He doesn't come with a lot though, but he's just kind of a bigger, bulkier figure. But obviously, this box is essentially the same size as the uh, the morphed Shredder, the Green Ranger Shredder from the Team and T line. So if you are familiar with that box size, you know what to expect here. So one new thing on this box is the artwork. So on the original Eclipse Door, it was just a complete forward-facing artwork because it was a two-pack. And so this one has the typical Tom Whalen single release style art, where it's you know at a slight angle. So that is pretty cool and is brand new. So I like that a lot. And of course, that artwork continues onto the side, even though it kind of just cuts off some of his face, but that still looks really cool. And it continues on the other side, which is pretty much just his shoulder. And of course, it says Power Rangers in space. And then there is the render for it back there, which looks pretty good, obviously very red. So <laughs> another thing is too, is that the suit is rather basic and uh, they didn't maybe do the best job of making it look 100% show accurate because they, they just didn't really do much <laughs> with it. Uh, like, you know, this guy has all these lines and everything all over the place and like, the detail on him just went all over and this one is just like red <laughs> but you know and then of course there's the barcode at the bottom the only store that this would probably be found in like in person would be besides like little collectible shops like i got mine from i uh, would be like gamestop and stuff they do have this uh, but uh, yeah fan channel exclusive so you're not going to find it at walmart you're not going to find it at target or amazon you're going to have to go through those retailers to get it but let's go ahead and take a look at ready clip door all right, so here is Ready Clip Door out of the box and everything that he gets. And I like this. I like this a lot, actually. So <laughs> I am a big fan of the color red and silver and everything. So I do already kind of just dig this form as it is. But obviously, I understand it's just a kind of obscure thing for them to do. But it's still cool nonetheless. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. So yes, he's very, very red. <laughs> and definitely a lot more of a 
cheaper looking figure. See, the thing is about Red Ecliptor is that this figure is like a matte red. And in the show, he kind of looks more like a glossier red. So I think that's kind of where the sort of inconsistencies, or not inconsistencies, inaccuracies, I guess, kind of come from. However, I mean, it does look like Red Ecliptor does in the show. But what's interesting about this is that there's actually some more remolded pieces on this than I thought there originally was. So obviously, I'm going to be comparing this with the original Ecliptor quite a bit in this video. But for the most part, it's very much, especially on like the right side of the figure, essentially the exact same as the Amazon version. One gripe that I would have, I would say, is that I do wish that this was whatever this little symbol is, this little cyborg symbol. I do wish that this was molded into the chest and not just a paint application. Since they do have some other slight remolds on here, it would have been nice for them to do that. But I understand why certain pieces are remolded or like I understand how certain pieces are remolded just based off of the construction of the figure. And that would require an entire new chest piece, basically. So I understand why they didn't do it. But I mean, articulation wise and everything, he's the exact same as the Amazon one. So if you have that, you, you probably know, uh, you know how it will be. But mine actually seems to be a little looser, especially that knee joint. That one really likes to work very well right out of the box. Uh, but I haven't really gotten the other joint cracked in there yet. Uh, but yeah, it looks good. And on the back, of course, he's very barren on the back. Uh, compared to the original Ecliptor. I think it's just like I said, if you have the original one and you and I, if you were blown away as much as I was about it, and then you get this one, it kind of just seems like a downgrade, but it's still pretty much accurate. He doesn't really have the lines that much when he's red Ecliptor. It's definitely not as much as he has them when he's regular Ecliptor, so I get it. Uh, but basically, taking a look at it with regular Ecliptor, so here he is, a little comparison between the two. I'll just bring the camera down just a tiny bit so you can try to get the you know whole figure in the frame but yeah essentially it is the same thing so have you noticed which pieces are remolded i'll just give you a second it's pretty much everything on the left so <laughs> he does have a remolded head so i will take a look at that in a second but basically his entire left arm is completely different uh like entirely so that is interesting so i did not even notice that <laughs> from the promo shots to be honest with you um, when I first got this, I noticed that the shoulder pads were different on the left, but I didn't notice that the entire left arm was different uh, because this right here, this little circle and line piece pattern is molded in. It's molded in and then painted silver, so it's not even there at all. And then he doesn't have this little spike on his arm and he doesn't have this little like wrist gauntlet piece on his arm. Um, so this is completely remolded. I do believe that the fists are the exact same, uh, just the default fists that you get with him out of the box which is interesting that I just noticed something about it, which we'll take a look at in a second. Uh, but yeah, the default fists are just the same, uh, which, you know, why wouldn't they be? And then if you look at the right arms, those are the exact same, the right arms and the right shoulder pads. Uh, basically, they just get rid of all the grid pattern line and then just paint this silver line, uh, you know, or silver lines around it and everything, which I know some people wish that that was more sculpted in uh, with the silver detail there, because it's supposed to be kind of because this is supposed to be like a repaint of his cyborg form, and this is not even necessarily cyborg Ecliptor. Uh, there's like a bunch of different versions of Ecliptor we could get. Now, what's really funny though is that this one is sculpted after cyborg Ecliptor, but there's like a cyborg Ecliptor that we could get that would have like the color scheme of this one. So like we could repaint this one back into this one <laughs> and basically get another release, which would be weird. Uh, we could also get another Ecliptor that has a completely different shoulder pad with this color scheme and I think even has like a weird cape thing or whatever. We could still get a couple more Ecliptors. And with how this mold is, I would not mind that because the sculpt on this figure is fantastic on both of these. Uh, but yeah, I would imagine that Hasbro would probably try to give us a single release version of this version of Ecliptor or close to this version, but it would probably be something like either the Cyborg one or the original form or whatever. It would not be this exact one, I would imagine. This one would probably still be locked in the two-pack for the foreseeable future. But yeah, Red Ecliptor is the first time we're doing it in a standalone release, uh, but it's it's good. I do like it. Another comparison here is that uh, you have kind of this wire work pattern and everything there, which is just painted all silver. It's not changed or anything mold-wise. The arm looks like it's changed there, but it is the same. It's just this has all the grid green pattern, and this just has some silver stripes. Uh, but then, so we can look at the heads, like I was talking about, they are remolded. You can see all of the cyborg detail there, and the silver is sculpted into his head and sculpted onto his cheek. And that's obviously not there in the original release. So I had originally thought that they were just, you know, painted in there, but they are not. They are sculpted. So he does have an entire new left arm. And he does have a new head. I mean, which is essentially the same head. I just added some more detail to it. But yeah, it is slightly, slightly remolded. So that is cool. 
And then, of course, accessories-wise, he has a couple new pieces, or he has one new piece. So, taking a look at the hands here. So, his effect piece hand is the exact same as the one we had from the Amazon set, except he just has blue, <laughs> like, lightning, whatever. This time, instead of that green kind of, what, line color or whatever. So, you do get that, but it is the same. So, it is the same hand. It's still for his left hand. And then you do get a right-handed fist, which has some gold paint on it, which there is gold paint on the holding hand that he comes with outside of the box, but there's no paint on this hand. So I'm not sure if this hand is supposed to be gold or not. It's not painted on here either. However, on the original Ecliptor figure, he did have the pattern on his fingers there, and they did not paint that on his swappable hand for that. So actually, they didn't paint it on either of the swappable hands for this figure, if I remember correctly. So I don't know <laughs> if his left hand is supposed to have gold on it or if that was just a thing for his right hand, it's possible. I'm leaning towards probably it's supposed to be painted and it just isn't, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter anyway, especially because on this one, or really even on that one too, the gold is so much covered by this like gauntlet piece thing. So you barely even see it as it is. So the fact that it's not even present on the other hand is not that big of a deal. But, I mean, I guess it kind of would have been nice. And then you do get a brand new sword here. It's entirely different from the one that he has the first time, which was awesome. <laughs> that was a, such a good piece in the original figure, but you can, sell, or you can tell how different these are. Completely, completely different swords. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we can just, you know, swap it and everything. Swap the hand for the little lightning effect one. And then I do remember it was kind of a pain getting the original sword in his hand. So we'll see how this goes for the, the Red Ecliptor version. All right, not so bad so far. So this is a pretty uh, important sword because he does destroy a Megazord with it. So <laughs> it's cool to give him that. I do like how it looks too. I just like the like the little gems or whatever that's on it. And just the design of the blade and kind of the jaggedy edges and everything. That does look pretty neat. So there is the In Space red ecliptor so everybody's favorite one episode appearance figure <laughs> so uh how many other one episode appearance figures do we have we have fighting spirit green from dino thunder that's a one episode appearance figure uh, i'm trying to think if we have anything else i guess technically things like i guy or like pumpkin rapper so well no pumpkin rapper reappears a couple times and i think i guy reappears in uh like background <laughs> like party scenes and stuff so I'm trying to think of other times we've gotten like a one episode figure uh, but not, you know, not the point. <laughs> Essentially, this is one. A one-episode appearance of Ready Clipper. I don't even think Ready Clippers appear in, like, the comics or anything like that, which I guess would make sense, because I don't know why he would show up there. But there we go. So that is the Lightning Collection in Space Ready Clipdoor. So if you want to get this version, if you never got any Clipdoor from the two-pack, obviously uh, you would probably want the one in the two-pack more than this, and I highly recommend that set. But I also recommend this as well. I think that the color looks really cool. I love the sword. I do like the figure a lot, but I can definitely see also how this is very skippable. Uh, but obviously, as a Lightning Collection completionist, I am going to buy them all. <laughs> and I already do like how this looks as it is, and I have to review it for the channel, obviously. So I recommend it personally, but I do understand why people would either probably just wait out for an individual release of the regular Ecliptor or an individual release of Cyborg Ecliptor. Out of all the Ecliptors, this is probably the one that people wanted the least, but it's also probably the one of the ones that was the easiest to make, so I get why we have it here in the Lightning Collection already. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this figure down in the comments below. Are you picking it up? Are you skipping it? What are your opinions on it? I'm very curious to know. And of course, until next time, you guys can find me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or at LightningFigPR, and I'll see you all next time.